This dash cam video released by Front Royal Police shows an apparent standoff between a Warren County Sheriff deputy and 77-year-old Ralph Ennis. Sheriff deputies say Ennis was swerving and speeding on Winchester Road the early morning of April 2nd. The pursuit lasted three miles. Police say with Ennis driving 63 in a 50 mile per hour zone. When Ennis pulls over, he steps out of his truck and walks towards the cruiser. The police report says he looked confused and his hands were by his side. The front royal officer responds to the scene in disbelief, his body camera capturing it all. Jesus Christ, man, just grab a hold of it. Seconds later, two more deputies approach at least one with a gun drawn. The video then shows one deputy swinging the 77-year-old around, his face slamming into the back of the truck. Ennis was taken to the hospital for cuts to his face, but according to this incident report, doctors determined he was exhibiting signs of a hemorrhage in his head. Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today's Tuesday, June 7th, 2022. Time is 2.31 p.m. Jersey time, no other time. If you're in New Jersey, you are in Jersey time. All right, well, we got another hero here. Let's find out what this one did. Let me bring my page back up. Uh, this is reported on NBCWashington.com. It's dated May 4th, 2022. Reads as follows. Body camera video reveals Virginia deputies slammed 77 year old man into truck and tackled him. Wow, is anybody surprised? Anybody surprised by the fact that they used violence to solve a problem and they committed that violence on, on an older man, an elderly man, senior citizen, who's not able to protect himself or keep himself from being accosted by these criminals, these state sanctioned criminals? No, nobody's surprised because this is who they pick on. They pick on those weaker than them, those unable to defend themselves because they're all tough guys, aren't they? They're real tough guys. All right, let's find out. Uh, well, here's the story right here. I have not read it, so let's find out what it's all about. Newly released body camera video reveals deputies in Warren County, Virginia slammed a 77-year-old man into a pickup truck and tackled him to the ground. He died 13 days later. Now, what person, anybody out there, would feel comfortable about picking a 77-year-old man up and slamming him down and, and to the point where he dies 13 days later? Does anybody have a problem with doing that to another human being? Of course you have a problem doing it because it's the wrong thing to do, and I don't care if you got a badge or not. You don't do that to a 77-year-old man. Uh, what the hell, they're doing it to 70-something-year-old women, picking them up and slamming them down. Disgusting. Who raised these animals? They're narcissists, people. They're psychopaths. Psychopath is the worst. It's, you know, there's three, three levels of narcissists. you got the regular narcissist, you got the sociopath, and you got the psychopath. The psychopaths are, the, are these bad cops because they parade around like they're normal, but they're not normal. They're a monster on the inside with uh, wearing a, a, a phony mask on the outside. The Warren County uh, Sheriff's Office originally said Ralph Ennis had fallen over the trail hitch of his truck and hit his head during the arrest on April 2nd, but that story didn't take traction and the video camera sh said otherwise. Outside a 7-Eleven near Front Royal, deputies had pulled him over for driving erratically and speeding authorities set. The sheriff's office said Ennis had non-life-threatening injuries after the fall. However, body camera video from a Front Royal police officer who was at the scene shows a Warren County deputy run toward Ennis, who appeared to be stumbling around. The deputy then grabs Ennis and slams him face forward into the truck, into the back of Ennis' red pickup truck, which had a camper top attached to that. Then he and another deputy appeared to tackle Ennis to the ground. See, I believe that they are training them in the academy to do this because every video I see, when they're arresting somebody, they're, they're committing violence on them. They're picking them up, they're slamming them down, they're breaking the arms. This is the trend that I see all the time. So one can only, well, you could suppose a lot of things, but I think it's training. I think they're being trained to take a person down to the ground like that 
and it's disgusting. Nobody needs to be treated like a dog like that. You got an elderly man, and you're going to run out there and tackle him. He's stumbling around. Maybe he's got a, a medical emergency. Maybe he's having a stroke. Maybe he's died back and his sugar dropped. These stupid idiots. Who signs off on these stupid idiot cops? And you know the cop lickers out there, the boot lickers, the blue ball bouncers, the gobblers. You know, they'll, they'll all say, well, if you just have cooperated. And this is why cops get away with this crap, because they do it and there's no consequences. And the, the, the cop apologists, the cop supporters are all out there, just give them a free pass. And the meanwhile, you and I are left talking about it trying to educate the world. Okay, so, let's see here. Uh, Deputy then grab Ennis, slams some face forward into the back of the truck, blah, blah, blah. Get on the ground, one deputy is heard yelling. During the tackle, Ennis and the deputies appear to trip over the truck's trailer hitch. The front royal officer can be heard saying in the body video, body camera video, that was on Justin, on effing call for. Medics took Ennis to the hospital, and his wife, Linda Ennis, said doctors told her he had a brain bleed. He died on April 15th. She said the body camera video showed a different situation than what the sheriff's office had previously told her. Well, is anybody surprised by that? You know they get the body camera, they go look at it, and they see if they can rewrite the narrative to fit the camera. Uh, it was very difficult to watch. I wish that I hadn't watched it now, she said. Linda Ennis said her late husband had recently begun struggling with dementia and was the subject of a silver alert in mid-March. Warren County Sheriff Mark Butler told News 4 he stands by the initial statement of his office release. Well, of course he has to stand by because if he says anything different, it's going to start trouble. The front royal officer's report said, however, the deputy jerked the mail around and slammed the mail into the camper top face first. It was way overkill, just none of that was necessary, Linda Ennis said. The medical examiner was not, has not released Ennis' cause of death. The Warren County Sheriff's Office said deputies began following Ralph Ennis that morning because he was going 63 and a 55 and driving erratically. The Sheriff's Office said he didn't come to a stop until about four miles. Ennis followed commands to get out of the truck, but then refused orders to drop his keys and put his hands behind his back. The sheriff's office said, well, that's what triggered the cops. You know, you can't give them one reason. You can't trigger them. You can't do anything because their only response is going to be violence. This is what today's policing is about. It can be summed up in one word, violence. They've become a violent culture. Uh, Virginia State Police are investigating the arrest and that's all there is to that story there. So we have another citizen who is dead, most likely because of officer's behavior. Now he had a brain bleed, I don't know, he might have been having some type of an issue and when they slammed him down it just made it worse. Who the hell knows? But all I know is the man was alive and he came in contact with some heroes and now the man's dead. And no doubt the taxpayers will pay out as usual and there will be no consequences for these government thugs. I'll put the link in the description. Let me know what you think about the story. And uh, like, share, subscribe. And go to my Gunnison Undercover page on Facebook. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description. I'm going to start posting a lot of the news stories about cops on there. I just don't have the time to do all these stories. I probably have 20 of them stacked up right now that I didn't get to. So I'm just, today I'm just going to go through a few uh, more high profile ones and we'll do them and uh, that's that. And if you have a story about a bad cop in your area, send me the link to my email address, newjerseyexposed at gmail.com or you can go to my Facebook page, Gunnison Undercover, and post a link there or you can message me, however you want to do it. And uh, if it's a good story, we'll do it. Uh, don't send me a story that's five years old. You know, something recent within the last two, three weeks. Something egregious, okay? We have to put these stories out in one place so that the world can see what they are. And if you get in an argument with one of these bootlickers, these blue goo swallowers, you can always reference to my channel for a story. 
So when they start telling you, it's just an isolated thing, and you can just say bullshit. There's, I got seven hundred stories right here for you to uh, to look at and hear about. So anyway, so that's that. I'm John Van Dyke. Till next time, people.